So just because we started by failing doesn't necessarily mean we're going to finish by failing. One of the amazing things about the GIMP and Photoshop is that a lot of things can be changed on the fly. So far, you'll notice that with our layer, it's always had a normal mode. And so now is our chance to change that mode. And you'll notice that there is a whole list of choices up here. I'm going to change this mode to multiply. And by changing the baby layer, I don't know why that didn't say baby before. Let's put baby in there now, just so it's very obvious. Okay. By changing the baby layer, oh, right, you have to hit enter, B-A-B-Y, enter. Now it's fixed. By changing the baby layer um, to multiply, then I can change the skin tone layer. And just for effect, let's, uh, oh, sorry. Grab that. Okay, fine. I'll just type it in and put it at 100. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. So we put it at 100, and instead of saying normal mode for the skin tone layer, let's change that to color, which is down near the bottom, and select that. Now what it's doing is it's taking the baby layer, and it's saying multiply any values that are in the baby layer, multiply them by this skin tone color. And so now again, I need to bring that way down, way down. And you can see that if I go to zero, I'm back with the original picture, zero opacity. And if I bring it up, then I can add some skin tone to it, or I can add too much. So give it a try and try that out. The other thing is, if I don't like the skin tone, it's very easy to change. All I need to do, because it's a solid color on that layer, is just double click over here. I'm going to choose to make this into a Shrek baby, which of course is not part of the activity, but is very simple to do. I've got the paintbrush already selected. My selection area is still here. If not, go back and watch the other video on how to select it. Click it. And now I've got green skin tone, so therefore I have a green skin tone baby. So you can play with this, fudge it around. If you want to try different skin tones out, um, I highly recommend uh, that you can try out something more pinkish or more yellowish brown. Some people find an orangish color works best. And then when you paste that on, you end up with something like this, and you can adjust the opacity accordingly. You can also try doing it with multiple colors. So you can try two or three different colors. I find that gets complicated, but you're welcome to try it.